Hey, what's up, YouTube? Anaris here with another space battle from Star Wars The Old Republic. Today, we're going to be heading towards the Mugar Ice Field. This is kind of a rehash of one of the previous videos that we did, but this mission is much more difficult. Um, and I've found that's generally how these missions go. They have a few templates that they use, and they just increase the difficulty, add more ships, give them more health, more shields, etc. So, going into this one, I have the level 3 upgrades for my own ship. This is a Fury class uh, fighter. And, uh, yeah, so the biggest thing, first off, right out of the bat, there's going to be a thunderclap that flies around. I think that's the name of it. I'll show it to you when it comes out. You need to burn it down as quickly as possible. These things, these are the targets. You see, they're the Talon fighters. They're no big deal. They just kind of fly around and look stupid. These also, you do have a quest to kill. This is that ship I was talking about. You need to burn this down as soon as possible without running into the, uh, without running into the ice fight. But you see how it flies around and just nails you with tons of shots. I'm trying to dodge the thing because, well, I don't have a good shot on it, but it will continuously hunt you down throughout the mission. You see, there it is, once again, launch four more missiles into it. It is imperative that you take it out just ASAP. You see how my shield or my shields are gone. I'm already at a, about 80% uh, toughness on my ship. But for the rest of the mission, since that thunderclap is destroyed, it's not that difficult. So, um, yeah, it's just all about nailing the fighters now. As you see, we're going to be a lot of times flying in from your backside, not really doing any shots to you. And you're going to see my shields regenerate over time. You're already they're at three quarters of the way back now. So it's uh, really, like I said, the difficulty of this mission it's not so much the the objective of killing those little uh, killing the little uh, ace red talent fighters so much as it is making sure you destroy that thunderclap as soon as possible. So yeah, that's pretty much all this is is just a, again a rehash of the previous engagement. It's fun though. I mean, you could still run around flying and knock out all the turrets, hit the shield generators. Whoa, man, almost got hit by that. There is, of course, the bonus quest to destroy a bunch of these little simple fighters. They don't have to put up much of a challenge at all. So here we go with two more of those great talents. You'll see there's a giant group of ships that you can just kind of launch missiles into in your own leisure. But watch out for that that uh, little ice fragment there as well. Okay, he's got barely any hit points left, so a couple blaster shots to launch him off. Yep. There we go. Let's launch a couple volleys with the frigate. We should hit the shield generator. Apparently, that's no quest for that. As a matter of fact, I thought there'd be a bonus quest to knock out the shield generators, but apparently there's not. No. Oh, oh well. So there you have it, folks. We're just going to knock these guys out. Now, there is, or there are a few additional things you can buy to make this a little bit easier. There's an EMP generator, there's a proton launcher. Proton bomb launcher. <laughs> Um, they, they're pretty neat. There's also a power fluctuator, I forgot what it's called, but basically it lets you transfer power between your shields and your weapons. So you can either do a lot of damage for your weapons, or you can do like half, but have increased shield regeneration. Keep in mind, your shield regeneration already isn't that bad. I mean, I can just let off of my lasers for a few seconds, and that would be that. But as far as your missiles are concerned, if you have the level 3 upgrades, you really shouldn't have to worry about conserving too much during this mission, as you've got so many of them already. And your main objective, you don't even really need the missiles for. It says they're useful, but you can blow them away if you've got level, level 3 lasers and, uh, you know, beam generator and charge. Really, the upgrades just make this mission a little bit more cozy. Uh, you could probably even do this with level 1 upgrades. Maybe. I, I don't know. I think with some good good flying skills and good pilot, you could do this with level 1. That's just my opinion, though. Let me know in the comments section down below if you've actually been able to do that. I will happily stand corrected if it is, turns out that it is just, oh my god, impossible. Oh man, gotta get thirds. Gotta get thirds. Yes. Woohoo. And, you know, I've heard some people say that, wow, these things look really boring, but even even it being a similar mission from, you know, the first one that it was, whoa, holy crap. Um, even with it being a similar mission, it's still fun. I mean, it still has that Star Wars feel where, you know, you're flying around with destroyers and frigates and cruisers, and you're just blowing up tons of, tons of these fighters with your uh, Fury-class ship. 
it's really just fun. I have a lot of I have a lot of uh, fun recording these videos, even though they are quite short. So that's going to be it for this video. As you see, we are now heading away. We've acquired our experience, 40, uh, 4485, because this is relevant to my level. We're going to accept that and be back on our way. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe if you want to catch other Star Wars videos. Remember, we do have a bounty hunter guide going up right now. Where we're taking out as many of the quests as possible and kind of showing you the best ways to help uh, get Mako sorted out with her reputation as well. So that's going to be it for this video. This is 2VR8, and he will see you in the next video.